Hi YouTube and this is JTrain997 and I'm back this time with my review of the Transformers Power Core Combiners Bomb Shock with Combaticons. Of course, um, I didn't know these were getting released, honestly. I'm, I'm just happy in general that the Revenge of the Fallen tagline got removed from the toys, but I didn't know we were getting new Constructicons at all. Or Combaticons, if you'd rather call them that. But um, I found this um, package in stores today. Had to pick it up. It just looks so classic and great. Um, of course, over here, you have your little read-up on the character. And it says, Bombshot was once a member of the most elite unit in the Cybertronian military. He betrayed his com comrades, and his reward was to become a commander of a powerful power core team. Even alone, each of his drones has much as much firepower as the average Autobot. Together, they are nearly unstoppable. Of course, um, down here you've got his stats, strength 9, intelligence 7, speed 6, endurance 10, blah, blah, blah. I don't think anyone really wants to know the stats that badly. Um, but of course, you can see it's um, made up of five um, different Combaticons. I'm so used to saying Constructicons, it's hard to stop. Of course, over here you have your um, standard read-up on the Power Core Combiners. Since this is my um, first time reviewing a Power Core set, I'll go ahead and read it. It says, stolen by Decepticon spies, Power Core Combination gives the evil robots a powerful edge. Those who have the powers of Combination are a dangerous threat to the Autobots on Earth. Of course, it says, um, interchangeable robot combination system, works with um, the Minicons, which are sold separately. I did see those. I didn't pick any up yet, but um, supposedly, you can kind of combine the sets together to make the robot more powerful, which I'm assuming is bigger. Um, of course, onto the back of the packaging here. Let's actually get this glare off the box for this part. And of course, you have your missile carrier drone, your bomb shot, com your bomb shot commander vehicle mode, APC drone, armored car drone, bomb shock over here in commander robot mode, and your tank drone. All together team up to make a very nice looking um, Combaticon. So on that being said, I am fantastically excited to have this guy. Let's pull him out of the packaging. And before we have a look at anything in robot mode, we of course have to go over the vehicle mode. And here we have the armored car drone, which um. I knew these weren't going to transform into robots, I didn't know what they were going to do, but it's like you just have a little latch here and you pull out and you can see how it folds into his foot. Of course he does have a little free, roll, um, free rolling gray link back here and the two wheels in front. So. Of course he's got the Decepticon logo, very nice. Um, next up, the tank drone, as you can see here. The guns do spin, and once again you just kind of pull it and you can see how it kind of comes down. And the claw arm folds out. Claw hand. Very nice. The missile carrier drone. Once again, all of these roll. Once again, has a great little presentation to it. The silver Decepticon logo. You just pull it back. This is the other arm, obviously. You see how that folds down. And... Wait a minute. Oh, I call this the armored car drone. It was the APC drone. I have the box over here on the side. Um, my mistake, guys. Over here you have the armored car drone. And of course, this is the other foot. You pull it out and you can see how it kind of folds down. And the missiles on top spin. And once again, it rolls. And last, but certainly not least, Bomb Shock in his vehicle mode. Um, very simple transformation and a very nice looking robot. Of course, you've got the um, two elevating cannons. You've got what look to be missile launchers over here on the side, although they actually don't launch. You can see his inner workings down here. Rolls fine. And of course, um, spins up here. So, that being said, let's actually go into Bomb Shock in his robot mode. And here we have Bomb Shock in his robot mode. Um, Getting a good look at him before we go on to the full Constructicon. I mean, once again, Combaticon. Once again, you'll have to excuse me, I'm just so used to saying Constructicon. Um, of course, his guns elevate. They can be straight up, kind of at an angle, go straight down. Um, really nice looking robot altogether. Um, if you want a quick scale comparison, just because I know somebody will ask. Um, here's the Marvel Universe Bucky. Just had him off to the side here. See, he's actually right at about... The scale of Bucky, which is around three and a quarter inches. Three and three quarter inches, I mean, sorry. Of course, goes out at the shoulders, bends at the elbow, rotates at the arm, goes out. A little limited at the legs, but forward, back, out, ankle joint. So, um, 
a very nice looking robot, which bodes well for the um, fully combined um, Combaticons. But that being said, let's get all these bad boys put together. And here we have Bomb Shock and all the Combaticons finally combined. And they just look fantastic all put together. Um, let's get a quick 360. Had to be kind of careful to make sure this guy doesn't fall over. I mean, it's all around fantastic. The only um, gripe I have at all with this figure really is that this one foot is just kind of hard to get it to stand. Sometimes it likes to slide out because the wheels are on the bottom. Um, and that's not a huge issue. Um, there is a sacrifice of articulation, though, of course, um, with all these um, arm attachments, well, the limbs, basically, being so, you know, easily transformable, you know, just pretty much automatic. Basically, you can do a full 360, and you can go up. That is about where it ends. Um, on the legs here, you've got out. You actually have a knee joint at the legs. And if you lift up this panel, you've got some forward and back. So actually the legs aren't that bad. They actually um, keep their articulation fairly well. Just um, keeping in mind that you do have to kind of compensate for this foot over here having the wheels on it. But um, couldn't be easier to get these things to combine. These will, You just pull them off and they instantly just flip back to close. I mean they're um, flip close into their vehicle mode. Then you can just stick this back in here and the blue peg is what keeps it locked in place. So overall, a fantastic figure. Um, there's two sets out right now. The other one is, I forget his name, but he's the jet. He's like made up of several different little aircrafts. I, I'm definitely gonna end up picking this guy, the other guy up. On I highly recommend Bomb Shock and the Combaticons. A fantastic looking transformer. Um, and only 20 bucks. Now that is just a great price in my personal opinion. I highly recommend this guy. I love him. He's going to look great in a Transformers display. And this is J Train 987 saying, I'll see you soon, YouTube.